for the choreography. Member Lizzie even couldn't be part of the live stages and the performance part of the music video because she had injured herself during rehearsals. Blackpink's Boombaya. The choreography of Blackpink also has many complicated moves. And a typical example is Boombaya. The most impressive move was when Jenny jumped up and let Jisoo, Rose, and Lisa hold her. This movement is not only complicated, but dangerous. If the members drop Jenny, she can fall onto the stage and injure her arm. Okay. So this oh, is a, <laughs> that's what I was about to say. <laughs> you know my weakness, yeah, like <laughs> when people go to the floor. Rose, girl, why did you go to the floor? I didn't see this before. I should watch the entire uh, Bumbai music video now because I wanted to see Rose <laughs> scrolling down <laughs> underneath. Hey guys, welcome back to Reaction Unlimited. Today we have completely different video to react to. It's about K-pop groups and their uh, dance performances, choreographies, how hard it is, and all the things that left fans kind of scared a little bit and worried about them. Um, we all know how um, whenever we watch uh, their performance, we always comment about the choreography. We're always shocked how they pull out all those things. And we always talk about how hard it must be um, practicing and uh, perfecting the choreography. So this video will show us all the kind of most dangerous choreography in K-pop music. And um, we're actually, really, I'm, up, I'm really excited to see this because I think, so I've never seen this video, but I have one group that for me had the most, um, like the toughest choreography, the scariest choreography. So I hope you will be included in this video. But before we proceed to the video, Angelo, they have to do what? You smash! Click that button, subscribe button guys, and also the uh, notification so that you won't miss our reaction. We are growing and we want you to be part of the family so that when we go t uh, around the globe, We'll be able to see you. <laughs> there is a plan for this, for us to travel the world. So yes. All right, I'm I'm really excited, guys. I hope you are. So let's see the video. All right, I'm excited because I wanted to see all our favorite groups here. <laughs> all right. Dreams chewing gum. This one is different, and it's truly never been done before. The use of hoverboards within NCT Dream song chewing gum was fresh and exciting. However, if you've ever tried to utilize a hoverboard, you know that it is quite difficult to stand on, yes. let alone dance with it. If the boys were to fall, they could end up injuring their arms or legs. Additionally, if they lose control of the hoverboards, they could run into each other and create a mess on stage. But still, the NCT boys gave out a spectacular performance with zero mistakes. They must have practiced long hours for such hard and precise dance moves. Number 2. EXO's Wolf Whoa! With Wolf, SM decided to recruit Tony Testa as EXO's choreographer. Testa has always been known for the renowned yeah. driving choreography that requires huge amounts of energy. And Wolf is no different. In the song, EXO literally flies over the stage, surprising the audience with sudden direction changes and barely stopping for a moment. If one of them loses the balance, all the members will fall down and get injured. Their tree formation also takes incredible finesse and powerful muscles. I remember this very clear in the music video. I was so impressed about this, uh, you know, like three formation. It was awesome. Yeah. Otherwise, they will have problems with joints and ligaments. There are also lots of level changes in the choreography that is easy for an ordinary dancer to get exhausted. For all these factors, this is no dance for the beginner. Number three, EXO's Overdose. When oh, EXO oh, came back with the song awesome. Overdose in 2014, they made fans confused when the 12 member tower photo was posted online by Tony Testa. Then, after That's Overdose. Cool. In this one, I haven't seen the music video of this one, but I'm excited to see. The was officially released. The choreography once again aroused public opinion because of its incredible complexity. After watching the MV, fans were super concerned about the safety of EXO members during that comeback. The reason was, in order to build that pyramid, Two members needed to stay firm at all. Yeah, this one particularly because you know you're using a balance here. Yeah. Uh, and you're defining. And this uh, 
bottom bottom dancers, I mean singers, EXO members, um, their legs should like be straight. Like you cannot shake. Yeah, you're that's just, tough. You have to have a strong legs here. Yeah. Or else, other members would fall on stage, get injured, and also heavily harm the members under them. If not well trained, EXO might not have been able to perform overdose choreography so smoothly and perfectly. Number four. 2 p.m. 10 out of 10. The choreography of this song is considered quite powerful and complicated. In fact, Juno had injured himself while practicing 10 out of 10 because he was Ooh. unable to land properly during the final rotation of his flip. That, that in particular, if you're like using your body to twist and uh, fly a little bit, that would be, if you landed really incorrectly, it's gonna be so tough. Instead of landing on his feet, he landed on his head and neck. Ooh! The rest of I feel bad for the guy. That is so right, tough. We, we know that this happens when they uh, practice the, the dance and it's only possible that they happen. Uh, and it will happen because the, the, the choreographers are so tough and hard, but seeing something like this that in like one second you can if something like that can happen Oof. i wonder if the uh he had some you know like hospitality hospitalization hereafter but we'll see because i it hurt meaning like it hit the head it looks like and the le uh the neck the 2 p.m. members had to rush into the hospital. Oh, okay. Fans were shocked at the danger of the dance move, and it showed how much effort 2 p.m. went through to put on a good performance. Number 5. TVXQ's Catch Me Perhaps, until now, many people still have not forgotten TVXQ's impressive choreography in Catch Me, the song released in 2012. This was also voted as unique choreography, but with the highest danger level that they've ever performed. In one part, Chang Min lifted his body from the ground with the help of dancers and other members, making fans concerned about everyone's safety. When TVXQ performed this song, Chang Min even fell twice and the group of dancers had to move the formation to cover up the accident. It means that, during practice, Chang Min fell even more times than that. Number 6. Shiny's Everybody Another right. Tesla's choreography that is so difficult to take on is Everybody. Even Onu injured himself because of it. It is absolutely incredible to see how much movement is packed into such a short period of time, and how much of that movement is microscopic in detail. Testa focuses on coordinated body movements that line up with group synchronization and complex formation, along with waterfall choreography. Despite how often Shiny performs everybody, fans still can't believe that Tai Min got thrown up in the air. What? But he always had a dramatic landing, this is crazy. It looks like you're, they're pulling your legs in order for you to stand up. I mean, he's literally <laughs> flying. Like, they're throwing him. Like, it's crazy because you're beginning from the legs. You're not even, like, holding the, the body parts. I mean, in the, the upper body, you're, like, pulling his legs to stand up. That is crazy. Fans were always worried that he could get injured if he ever landed the wrong way. Number seven. NCT Dreams, My First and Last. In the segment with the camera angle from the top, the members of NCT Dream performed a difficult choreography to move the formation. One person had to hold the next person's legs. Whoa! <laughs> that is That's awesome. So cool. That is impressive. I've never seen it before. Like, Who came that up is... with that choreography? Good job. Yeah, this is crazy good choreography here. They formed a big circle and then started to shrink. This dance performance received a very high appreciation from professionals as well as the audiences. However, it still faced mixed opinions because in order to perform that well, NCT Dream had to practice extremely hard. In fact, during this era, Damien had to drop halfway because of the disc herniation he suffered when practicing my first and last. Number eight, after schools. All right, this is the first girl group that we've so far was featured uh, on this one but i don't know who are they but it says first love after school first love do you know them i don't okay there is a reason pole dancing is offered as an exercise it requires loads of full body strength yeah. to pull off in a truly fluid and sexy manner yet as one of the most legendary girl groups of gen one after school perfectly killed it in first love 
These girls need serious upper body strength to round the pole as they did, and the large hip movements that only come with lots of practice. They have to perform many repeated moves, which becomes challenging as muscles fatigue from repetition. The members themselves have stated that they got injured and bruised from the choreography. Member Lizzie even couldn't be part of the live stages and the performance part of the music video because she had injured herself during rehearsals. Blackpink's Boombaya. The choreography of Blackpink also has many complicated moves. And a typical example is Boombaya. The most impressive move was when Jenny jumped up and let Jisoo, Rose, and Lisa hold her. This movement is not only complicated, but dangerous. If the members drop Jenny, she can fall onto the stage and injure her arm. Okay, so this oh, is a... Rose. <laughs> That's what I was about to say. <laughs> you know my weakness, yeah, like... <laughs> when people go to the floor. Rose... Girl, why did you go to the floor? I didn't see this before. I should watch the entire uh, Bumbaya music video now. Because I wanted to see Rose is <laughs> crawling down <laughs> underneath. Arms and legs. Their body is to good. be extremely good. However, most of the time, Blackpink has successfully performed this dance. One time, Jenny accidentally kicked Jisoo in the head while jumping. And she was extremely Ooh. worried when she saw... Look at that. That was tough. Had Jisoo holding her head. Luckily, Jisoo wasn't seriously injured and she continued to finish the, finish the performance. Number 10, BTS's Dionysus. Though the new oh, version yes. of this choreography didn't have much to talk about since BTS directly edited a few dance segments to avoid possible incidents, the original version of it proved to be super dangerous. Specifically, yeah. the members had to turn over and fall straight to the floor. This choreography requires great concentration if you do not want the hand and leg combination to be difficult to match. Yeah, I agree. When I watch especially the one of the live performances, it was crazy that you know, if you touch your head first and you hit your head, that would be like really dangerous. It's gonna be so disastrous. But again, you know, you want safe uh, safe first before anything safety first before anything else which can lead to unnecessary accidents while performing. In fact, Chungu also had problems with his choreography when rehearsing for the music course stage. Fans witnessed his entire shoulder hitting the floor while performing the upside down movement, and he was clearly in pain. BTS directly changed the choreography to prevent unfortunate incidents to occur. Number 11, It Sees Dala Dala. Park choreography is really a tradition of JYP girl groups. Itzy is no exception. Their debut song, Dala Dala, has been controversial for a period of time because the choreography itself has many dangerous details, such as turning the body 90 degrees or turning the head 180 degrees. The movements that can cause fatigue, dizziness, and other serious injuries for the members if they're not done correctly. Yeah. Moreover, the girls even have to dance in high heel boots, which is extremely exhausting to the feet. If one accidentally steps on another, both of them will be injured and fall down. Number 12, Brave Girls is Roland. Roland of Brave Girls is considered to have dangerous dance moves because of the chairs they use. In the performances, the girls get... And also, the floor is very wet. <laughs> this is crazy. They're already up on the chair and then they put the, yeah. the wet floor, which is crazy slippery, maybe. Up on the chair and perform their choreography while balancing themselves on it. Everyone who has seen their performances all know that the girls must have been super courageous to wear high heels and dance on such shaky chairs, just like the name of their group. If they slip or lose balance, they could heavily injure themselves falling off those chairs. One of the members, Yuna, had actually fallen during the performance. Dang! That is crazy. That is so tough, especially they are on heels, yeah. Let's push through with the performance because, as mentioned, all the girls were super courageous and they would never let anything ruin their performances. But she's so professional, you know. She knows. Oh, that, this is the performance that I was hoping to see. Uh, but the, you know, the, the girl a while ago, she didn't give up. I respect that. Of like, course. She, she came up. You have to continue so much yeah. more. Uh, as long as she can still feel well, if she's like not feeling well after the drop, I think she should not. But yeah. it, it looks like she was okay, and she still continues. So that I respect for the girl. I don't know the girls' group, but they're really professional. Number 
13, Treasures MMM. Treasures! Time of their this is, yeah, YG this has is, determined that Treasure is a group that mainly focuses on choreography. Because of this orientation, during the latest comeback with MMM, Treasure had to perform unacceptably dangerous choreography. Specifically, the members had to jump on each other's backs. This choreography caused JQ to tremble in pain. JQ alone was jumped on his back three times. Right after that, a wave of outrage emerged among the fan community. Many thought that YG was way too concerned about the quality of EMV and neglected the boys' of safety. After the controversy, at midnight on November 8th, YG quickly made an official apology for the incident. From the next stage, the strong choreography that fans are worried about will be modified. We will continue to focus on the health and safety of our members, since these are our top priority, and we will soon come back with better performances. Do you know any other dangerous choreographies? Don't hesitate to lay your- Whoa, that's dangerous dude. Which one is this? They didn't show this one. This particular move. Comment down below. And also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, because we'll be back with other interesting videos. Thank you for watching. Alright, this is pretty, this is pretty interesting video. Yeah, there's a lot more that I've seen before. Like, uh, Jimin specifically, I've seen a lot. I was about to say that. Yeah, yeah I've seen a lot of videos of Jimin um, trying to, you know, flip, backflip and everything. Those are dangerous stuff. Um, and also Jungkook as well. I, I've seen Jungkook like, you know, like doing the twist. And I also saw Kai for some reason. I, I came across Kai's um, dance. I was like, whoa, this is crazy good. But at the same time, I didn't realize it was dangerous. But then I realized those kind of things are pretty dangerous. So, yeah, but I, I, I agree. Some of this, especially the girls' high heels, those are pretty dangerous. Um, especially when you're dancing with them. And, you know, defying gravity and everything is one of the b most dangerous step. But I agree. And I hope that, you know, they, again, it's, for me, it's safety first before anything else. Because even if you showcased your ability to do these kind of things, but if you're going to hurt yourself and then you're not going to be able to dance for a long time, that's that's not um, that's not even good so I feel like you know safety first but again we recommend a lot of these k-pop groups because they set the global standards if you see like some of the groups uh, American groups uh, that are both singing and dancing some of this I don't think they they do it now like like especially the boy bands are just trying to sing and that's it they don't showcase their dancing abilities and technical skills and that is because I think this uh, the Korean culture is that you have to be trained for years and everything some of them were trained months but for this particular uh, most of them were trained years that's why the the training is so extensive that they can do a lot of things that's just what I noticed uh, when I started doing the K-pop uh, reaction yeah, I agree with you uh, when you said about um, safety first, I totally agree. But like we can see in um, K-pop, or um, they're playing this dangerous game uh, when it comes to like dance routines. So they're not playing safe. They are actually trying to break the boundaries, which that's why their um, choreography is the hardest um, in the whole music industry. We've seen so many American performers with great um, dance breaks, everything was great. Um, you know, we have like Beyonce who's doing amazing, amazing things, but we haven't seen someone who is doing like flip, flipping, um, flying. Um, we know Pink, Pink is also doing amazing performances, almost also like breaking the boundaries when it comes to like safety and you know like dangerous things but um k-pop artists they're setting the standards and their one of their focuses besides like songs uh, is definitely on the performance um some of them uh 
when I look at, for example, Axel Wolf um, or uh, Overdose, when I saw the music videos, I didn't notice that it's like really hard because how they pull that out. It's something that it's, well, it, they make it seem easy, but when you actually break the performance, you see yeah, that it's sorry. actually not that easy at all. And it takes a lot of practicing. Um, I knew that I'm gonna see Treasure because in my mind, for me, that's one of the most dangerous thing I've seen. So I hope that it would be included in the video. But also, um, whoever edited this video, great job. But there's one thing that was missing on the Treasure performance is there are like a couple of seconds when members were holding each other on the backs. Like there were, um, the other members were like standing on their back for like a couple of seconds. So mm. that's what dangerous is. And they were like shaking because um, it's heavy. So that should be included in, the, um, in this video. Um, also, girl groups, um, it's hard. Basically, you know, like dancing on high heels, that's already <laughs> hard job. Uh, but like jumping um, and, you know, flipping head and like, it's, it's tough. It's tough. It takes a lot of practicing and it takes a lot of effort to perfect to the point when you can uh, do the performance live uh, easily. Like nothing happens. And, you know, this is the proof what they, why they're spending, why they're spending so much time on the uh, practicing, uh, training and everything just because of this. So they can, you know, leave a mark in the, in the industry. So good job. Good job. I hope that everybody will be safe. I'm also hoping to see more of interesting performances. But first of all, safety first. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, there's a lot more. I think uh, this is based on the editors, meaning the channel's perspective of it. But there's a lot more. I'm pretty sure that our viewers also would say, hey, there's a lot more there. So please comment down below, right? We'd love to hear from you guys. What so far have you seen as the most dangerous uh, K-pop choreos that made the fans scream? That will be uh, so we can check those out too, because I'm you know over the year that we've been doing this, we've seen a lot. Um, so, but we we high respect, high respect to the K-pop industry because they've set the global standards. All right, well, thank you so much, guys, for always tuning in, and please stay safe always. Take care.